This show just continues to give. I keep like, when I was like thinking about watching the show, I kept thinking it was like a character, like drama focus. And then this episode happened. Like, what the hell is just this going on in the yeah, show? Like, we went fucking full blown like horror esque. <laughs> and then, and so. then, oh god, uh, was it? What was it the girl, the girl's name? Mommy Rose, or Emmy Rose, or whatever. Like, mm-hmm. they just got possessed by the soot, and then like had some weird, creepy, like grudge face going on. Like, oh my god, the show's creepy. <laughs> yeah, they're they're showing that you know, hey, there's some dark, messed up things going on, and. I think it's just a really good kind of juxtaposition of, you know, these very cheerful and, and bright living dolls versus now the the scorches and the phantoms that we've learned about, you know, the accumulation of this soot that the uh the royal shadow family kind of dispels from their yeah. bodies. So like the ha- having that like part of the lore, it like the whole like cleaning up the soot thing makes so much sense now. Like we're actually giving a really good reason why like they put all this effort into like cleaning the soot instead of just just because so yeah they have to keep things clean or things of that nature so totally totally agree with that um other than that though uh i think i'm you know again really enjoying the direction it's taking it's showing us that there's a very deep backstory to be kind of unveiled here through the eyes of amilico um and so i think the other part that really stood out for me from this week's episode was um the final meeting that we got to see with more of the elite yep. shadow house members who are sitting in front of that fireplace and talking about you know the different um reveals that certain you know shadow house members are going to have upcoming and then seeing that one kind of like uh i don't want to say he was like a butler type figure but that very final guy who's talking about like oh this is my chance to get to like you know level three or, or rank three of the shadow house like guard so now i'm totally interested of like okay what does that system comprise yeah. of and i, I oh, again man. i thought this was like character trauma between like between a <laughs> miracle and kate and now it's like now this is huge organization that we're just getting involved right away too so <laughs> just adding more with that lore i feel kind yeah. of bad because like I'm enjoying this show so much. I, I I turned to Stratton after I watched it, and I was like, I find this show so fascinating. Like, I just I abs- I'm addicted to it. And now that they've added some of those creepier elements too, totally on board for that. But I just have nothing for like ideas, theories, what's going on. Like, I've got I've yeah. got nothing, and uh, so I feel bad because <laughs> I can't even begin to theorize. Like, I just don't know. I mean, you just, I think just anything, there, that's, just that's a good it. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, it's, I think it's finally a good something thing where it's like head. we can't explain where it's going. And, mm-hmm. you know, that's something that's a, a kudos to the show of like, you know, uh, really um, pulling you in. I really appreciate shows that just feel like a really well-rounded package, too. And that's what Shadow House feels like to me. Like the opening, the opening is great. The ending is great. The art direction is great. Everything is consistent with itself. The story, the, the story is interesting and compelling. The pacing is great. Like just everything about it has been fantastic so far. So I, I like it when all of the details are paid attention to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Justin, I know you said you're like that juxtaposition, and I I understand why they they do they're doing it this way of like just the creepy nature, but then it's like it's balanced out with like more of the tearful side. So I don't know. I just I'm just thinking like I kind of for me, which is like I kind of go like like um. Like double down on the creepy factor, just like mm-hmm. especially when I, like noticing like the soundtrack, it's like it's very cheery and stuff. When I feel like it was like more quiet or have more more ambience music, and then I'm just like, and then once the creepy stuff happens, like lean into that. I think maybe a bigger impact. Like if we had bigger impact, that's I guess, I guess that's that's just for me personally. I think like I feel have more impact. Whereas here, it's like it's I think like if it's like if you're not used to that, that kind of like juxtaposition in anime, it's kind of it's kind of weird and confusing so i get that so i think i still i guess i still enjoy it this way i think but i, I just imagine if i read the manga like about like something like a soundtrack and voices to do like i to, to take in i think like i think the manga would, would probably be like more creepy for me just because i have to imagine what everyone says while like seeing right. all this happen so that's like well, the only I, thing I, i'm sure that probably contributes to why you know the manga readers were were so excited with the adaption and, you know, to come through a studio like Cloverworks and I'm happy for them after, you know, the rough last season that they had, that they're, they're it's looking like they're having a, a real win on their hands with, uh, with this show. So 
definitely looking forward to see what we have to learn next of this very deep background that we're starting to get, you know, some light on, for lack of a better word. Um, but I'm really hoping they start to introduce the other characters that are the other like uh, shadow yeah. part. I think we see them. I want to see more than so. I, I think right? so. Yeah, introduced to it, and I'm curious, like. Cause like yeah, the, the the final scene they showed like the the candidate um like the candidate uh screening or whatever or the debut. So I wonder mm-hmm. if we're gonna get that like soon or is that supposed to be like end of the season? If it's supposed to be like <sighs> right? Because again, we only have thirteen episodes. We're already three episodes in, and all we've really seen is Amilico, Kate, and a small nibble of the outside world. Actually, I, I actually wonder how much like of like fighting is actually gonna be in the show. Is just is this just supposed to be more of a showcase between? The living dolls and like the phantoms that's supposed to be more of a creepy factor not as in like yeah like do, that's are, a the good point you bring like, up. are the shadows gonna get involved in any of this or are they gonna get caught i up honestly in any of this? hope they don't have much fighting i would rather have it be more of that like eerie survival type factor where you yeah. know we're not standing up against you know these these entities these phantoms um just because i'm i'm much more about like the oh yeah kind of uncovering of information than people fighting stuff. Actually, i wonder too like, how normal how serious is like the so- sickness gonna be because they made it sound like like just get cleaned up and it'll be fine i wonder if like a living doll actually like stop functioning because of it or if they go that far if there's yeah. if maybe like later on there's gonna be like this huge infestation of soot in the house and like everyone just gets like drowned in soot or something i don't know how far they're gonna take that so we will see definitely definitely a, a potential to occur but um yeah really loving the show i'm glad to see you know we're we're getting a lot of support from uh yeah. readers and and viewers and everything so just hoping we can uh work towards a i guess uh satisfiable conclusion since we only have 13 episodes and obviously i'm sure we'll get continuation but too early to tell yeah no i think that's gonna be it for shadow houses a lot of surprises this season this is definitely one of them so looking forward to the rest of it